All right, so it is fascinating to me how quickly we forget things. We have a serious case of amnesia in this country, and it seems to have inflicted politicians and media pundits the worst. Was it not just last Thursday that if you went outside and congregated with more than a couple people, you were liable to be accused of potentially being the cause of death of untold numbers of people? That was only a few days ago. It wasn't long ago at all. Don't congregate. The government was flying drones over cities, making sure people complied with this. Politicians and media pundits told you on a daily and nightly basis up until last Thursday that it's egregious, dangerous, irresponsible, and downright evil to go out and congregate with people. In fact, there were protests over this, and those same politicians and those same media pundits could not stop spouting the party line that these people could be responsible for the deaths of hundreds of thousands of more people, potentially. They were painted almost as if they were mass murderers, so it was severe from their perspective. But now, we don't get a peep. No one cares. There are huge congregations of people, some wearing masks, some not, and now all of a sudden, this exceptionally deadly illness that was going to ravage all of society is not much of a concern anymore. And not only this, those same politicians and media pundits that labeled you an irresponsible person, liable for an untold number of deaths, now they're defending people going out en masse, congregating en masse. And not only that, not only are they defending it, they actively encourage it now too. They say if you're not out there voicing your support, Behind this movement, you're a racist or an apologist for a murdering cop, which, for the record, I'm not. The scumbag that murdered George Floyd, I won't shed a tear for anything that happens to him. But isn't that interesting how that happens? How quickly people just move on to the next thing? The thing we were screaming about last week with apocalyptic tones, how it was going to kill us all if you insist on defying the orders to remain separate and remain in place. That no longer matters. Hell, it's funny. You can go check my Twitter if you want. In fact, I have this I have the screen up right here. In the middle of making this video, I saw that the city of Anaheim tweeted a photo of some peaceful protesters sitting around. One lady didn't have a mask on. Most of them did, though. But no one was social distancing. They were all directly next to each other. You can see the photo right here. No one cared. No one said anything about how their actions could end up being responsible for a massive number of deaths. It's severe. Again. So let me be really clear, though. I don't mind what these peaceful protesters are doing at all. They have every right in the book to be there, to be close to one another, and express the opinion that they want to express. No issue with that at all. The only thing that I have to point out, though, is is the reaction to this from the people who just last week would have seen something like this and would have lost their ever-loving minds about how this type of behavior could lead to mass death. So as I said in the beginning, it's just pure, sheer amnesia, and that's just interesting to me. But anyway, that's all for now. Like, subscribe, and share, and I guess forget about social distancing because everyone else has, so don't worry. It won't hurt anyone. So long.